Should wolf whistling be considered a crime and therefore be banned? What do you oh, think? Oh, I give up on life. <laughs> 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 Don't give up now. I'm sorry. I mean, I've never... I, I've just never heard anything so ridiculous. And, yes, when I was younger, you know, if I walked past a building site and they whistled, you think, oh, my God, I'm mortified. Get round the corner and go, that was great. <laughs> Now, you know, I, I'm trying to pay them to give me a little... Bit. I mean, how can it, even, even if people... people I do, <laughs> and it still doesn't work. Oh, she dawdles, dawdles past really even, slowly. Even, um, you know, if you are massively against it, you can't call it a hate crime. Someone yeah. wants well, whistling at you, isn't it? I'm yeah. desperate yeah. for it to happen to me. It's the title, I mean, if actually. it happens to me, I will go down that road and then I'll walk back again yeah. to see if it happens. <laughs> I've seen you do it, Glass. I have to say, it was the, it's the... Caught me on. It's yeah. that title of hate crime that's slightly offended me this morning. Because I do think, you know, as society is changing, you know, the things that we've often talked about on here that we put up with as young women, particularly in the workplace, you know, and if you worked in a very male-dominated environment, we put up with a lot of that kind of sexual banter that we just batted away. And I think it's good that that's changing. I think that young I, women I shouldn't have to put up with yeah. that. And I think attitudes are changing. But but making it a hate crime, because mm. then I well, think, I well, think well, where the do you... Is, look at that response, because it's, if you just put up wolf whistle and hate right. crime, of course everyone's going to laugh and say mm. it's ridiculous. But underneath this, there is a really serious issue. You know, when I think back before I had my daughters, and I would, every, every comment, every joke, oh, I'd a bit of me would like it. Sometimes I'd be a bit intimidated mm. by it, but I don't want to look like I'm you a bit of a misery. Off, yeah. I laughed it off, but I laugh it off. In fact, a few weeks ago, I was doing a, another show and I was backstage and um, I, I just uh, leant over. I was doing a photo with a couple of people that were sitting down and somebody said to me that was working backstage, I went, oh, n nice puppies there. And, and, it, mm. and it, was, it was just, you know, inside I just went... But I did what I've done all my life, which <laughs> is to just go... <laughs> yeah. And then a bit later on, there was something wrong with my mic and it wasn't his job, but he said, oh, let me do that for you. And again, I laughed. And it's funny, cos I got in the car and I was really quite upset and I, cos, because of my daughters. And I phoned Kay and I said, it's really weird, this happens happened a million times before in my life, but now I've got my girls and now my daughter is 13 and a half and now my daughter has got puppies that can be talked about by some bloke while she's mm. just at work. I was thinking, if my daughter had been there and watched me do that, mm. is that what I want her? But for me, is you that feel like no, 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 hang on a minute, let me finish, cos you can't not agree yeah. until I finish. <laughs> it's, it's like, do I want her... Do, do I want to be that kind of a role model to her where I laugh off something that, in fact, I did feel a bit intimidated mm. by. Did you to not me, feel it's like saying to him, though? Why are you saying that? I did, but why didn't I have the courage to? Because no. we do accept it. We do laugh about it. We do as women. We've I get grown it up all the time about my boobs, though, because they're big. So there's always comments about so, but my that, boobs. But, Colleen, that might be... Because you've done it all the time, that's become the norm and it's I'm what you accept. I'm not bothered. I just go, cheers. No, because... <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but you might have always... I did that all the time to our daughters. But if somebody came up and grabbed my boobs or was really, like, trying to grab me down, that's a different okay, case. So but if someone goes to me, oh, nice baps or nice puppies, <laughs> I go, cheers. Yeah, but what <laughs> if... OK, but what if, if you were watching Ka Ka Kira in that situation and you know your daughter so well and you see a little bit of her that's a bit uncomfortable no, with it, watch, what would you have said Because if her? I was watching my daughter, I hope I've brought her up confident enough to either go, cheers, or... If she was uncomfortable, then as a mother, if I was watching it, I'd mm. go say that again. I'm going to knock you out. Yeah. Well, <laughs> I wouldn't want her to go go screaming. Well, I suppose that's harassment. what I'm saying is that I have to question myself comment. why I joke it off every time. Why haven't I got that confidence actually in a fr in, gr in a group of professionals to go? Do you know what? That's actually but not that's appropriate. That's what we used to have to do in my age. But yeah. it's yeah. about. I think it is about education for me. I think things change. The, we grew up doing that. Like you said, we've just done it. Yeah. We bat it away. Yeah. We can ban. So we've learned how to do it. That doesn't mean it's right. To now, you know, those things happen then. It doesn't mean well, it then we need should to happen ban, now. We need to ban Geordie, Sh Geordie Shaw mm. and Towie and all that because that they promote it the massively yeah. in, in young fairness, girls. Actually, yeah. racism, yeah. the the law against racism has really worked because years ago I couldn't have cared less in a way. Somebody told an Irish joke, but now of course you can't be offensive on race. And yeah. that, the awareness of that mm -hmm. has actually worked. So maybe for the next generation, Our this one might work. These things, well, actually, yeah. Maria says, I don't think it's a crime, but young men should have been raised now to mind their manners and be respectful of women. If they want mm. to pay a compliment, they should Absolutely. do so in a proper way. Yeah. Uh, wolf whistling can be intimidating. Some women love it, but some find it intimidating. 